Hello, my name is Liam Higgins. You're watching SCAD Radio's coverage live from the red carpet at the 2016 Savannah Film Festival. I'm a big fan of uh, sci-fi, and I think the best sci-fi is a mixture of symbol, like symbolic storytelling, and as well as a lot of personal elements. So, how did you uh, find that balance as the writer? I like the idea. Well, luckily, uh, Ted Chang did a lot of the heavy lifting for me on that. Like, there were so many um, emotional and visceral elements to the short story that um, it became my burden just to be able to carry that over to the film. Um, and I agree that the best sci-fi marries some very cerebral concepts and manages to teach you something or engage your brain as well as engaging your heart. Uh, so the the, tr the difficulty was in finding people that would protect those same elements in the film. So many times you find a producer or a director or somebody else in the business who likes one element but dislikes the other or doesn't trust it, I guess is the better way of saying it. Um, and thankfully we just found the right team for this that all wanted to make the same movie that appealed to both the heart and the head. Well, uh, speaking of that, your director, Denis Villeneuve, is one of my favorite uh, living directors. He made, you know, Prisoners, Enemy, Sicario. So what was it like working with him? Because he's, I think he's a tremendous talent, first of all. He is an absolute delight. Mm -hmm. He should not be nearly as nice, considering how talented he is. Like, I was waiting to deal with, like, a complete, uh, you know, basket case. But no, he's, he's phenomenal and, and very giving and nurturing. And he loves process. And by that, I mean, like, he just loves the procedural of some, uh, you know, some element of, uh, of business or of a profession that he doesn't know much about. In this case, it's what would really happen in a first contact scenario. And he's the, one of the rare filmmakers that leaned into all of that business ahead of time. And, and I'm great for it. Well, um, so also, when you were adapting the short story, what were some of the first contact stories you took inspiration from? Because I think my favorite, personally, is Close Encounters, the Spielberg film. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, were there any other ones that inspire you, like District 9 or something like that? Well, I think Close Encounters and Contact both are, are early inspirations. Um, and it's what drove me to try and make this all the way to the finals, you know, to the screens now, because we don't have a new version of that. And there are elements in this movie that expand on some of the ideas, some of the themes in those two films. So there's more, plenty more to say. And, and that's what makes me the most excited, is like, have a, a first contact story, once again, that isn't about us punching an alien in the face, you know? Well, and then, uh, this is my final question, but speaking of that, so many heroes in first contact stories and alien stories are macho, big military guys. What's it like having a character like Amy Adams who's a interpreter, like someone that's not a typical action heroine? Uh, it's a delight. It's exactly what we needed. The lighting guy and the All right. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thanks.